I made a game in two days with no experience. One time, I tried to make a game. And I read a lot of books, learned about collisions, started buying more and more physics books, started getting really intense into collisions and everything, and spent so much dang time, built so many cool examples of stuff, made quad trees. I just absolutely loved it. Never built the game. Just was like all about the physics. I was such a lame person. So there's this game gem that I want to participate in, but there's a bit of a problem. And that is, it ends in two days. And I have no idea how to make a game, so... The theme for the game is endless, and I immediately thought of 20 minutes till down, or the inspiration for the game which- Aren't game jams usually only like two days long anyways? Aren't they usually always pretty quick? But still, this is super cool. I like the idea of endless games. I like all of this. This is this is all very nice. You might know better, Vampire Survivors. I haven't actually played the original Vampire Survivors, but I have played the- The theme for the game is endless, and I immediately thought of 20 minutes till down or the inspiration for the game, which you might know better, Vampire Survivors. I haven't actually played the original Vampire Survivors, but I have played the- I haven't played the original Vampire Survivors. I haven't played Vampire Survivors at all. And now all I ever get is, please go watch the Vampire Survivors documentary. And apparently it won Game of the Year, and apparently it was written JavaScript. It hurts me that that's real. Mobile knockoff. I know, I know, shameful. But I got the gist of it, and it does kind of fit in the endless theme, so I will go with that. If you don't know any of those games, basically you spawn in, kill enemies which drop XP, that XP gets you on levels, levels give you better stats or abilities to help you survive longer, and when the timer runs out, you win. Simple. Now let's do it. I'm making this game in good though. I thought it was called Endless. Isn't that like the opposite of Endless when there's a timer? Isn't that end full? Not Endless? That's a, that's an endful game. Okay, that's hell yeah, Godot. Yeah, screw Unity. You know what you know what I always say? You know you know what I say? I say, why is my monitor in the photo. Why Why is my monitor in the photo right now? Infinitely finite. And something I know about Godot is that I don't know it. So let's watch it okay. to, to understand the basics. Yeah, I know nothing about Godot. Some A code tutorial? And the character can now move. Wait, no, you're not supposed to look at that. Because I'm on a two-day deadline and totally not just lazy, I bought an answer pack for the main character and important animations. But you can see, the character is just floating, so let's add something for it to walk on. Luckily, this is pretty easy. All we have to do is download a bunch of 3D asset realizer game is not that easy. Modify each of them individually to fit into D. It doesn't fit. Modify again, it doesn't fit. Modify again, it doesn't fit. Modify again, it fits. <laughs> if there's ever been an experience that reminds me of my time doing gay programming, that was it. Right there. Modify it again, it doesn't fit. Modify it again, it doesn't fit. Modify it again. <laughs> that is it right there so i have watched a bunch of tutorials and i think i got by finding the word so it should move the enemy towards you <laughs> oh fuck. okay times by negative one uh, oh sine and cosine okay, now i got it working oh and that last one was really really hard to do that last one was using sine and cosine for your x and y values whipping it whipping it around that's actually that's actually like you have to be intentional doing a little circle around your character. I did a health system and when the enemies actually hurt you, but it looks boring and soulless, just like me. So I added a juicy <laughs> knockback effect. I don't even know how I managed to make it look that good. This juicy! This can be the game and I play it for a few hours. Who needs gameplay? That's over. I added gameplay. You can, you can now shoot people. Yeah. If you're wondering what that highly detailed AAA graphics ball is, it's a part of the story that will not just a lame excuse for me to not do animations. But it stands still and you can only shoot in one direction. So let's make it move alongside the mouse. Luckily all we have to do is get the angular measurement between the positive minus axis and the ray from the origin to the point of the Cartesian. <laughs> Arctan 2. Basically I copied some. Just Arctan 2. Where's Arctan 2? Isn't that like what everybody does? Isn't that the, isn't that the way you solve all of your game programming problems? Arctan 2. What's that? You need to find that you need to you need to get that vector Arctan two. Oh, what is that? Arctan two. It's and just you just Arctan two everything. Chat GPT. I don't even know where I got this from, but it rotates shit, which is always cool. Rotating is cool. Yeah. I also nice origin. The <laughs> they made the game too easy. Nice origin, bro. Because I'm way too incompetent <laughs> to be able to create proper code. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> oh man. 
That that local orbit, it just does not look so good. Dude, it's pretty great. This is actually really good. Dude, this is actually super good how far this guy got in, in 48 hours. I mean, when I was doing gate programming, it was X and A, okay? X and A, way less easy than Godot. We leave them for other abilities, which... Ever thought about hosting a game jam? Pirate Software is literally doing a game jam right now, or about to be. I think in January, technically, is when it starts. I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. But either way, okay, it's not like right right now, but it's in January. Go talk to him, right? This is better than the day before. This is actually... This guy has created a more complete game than, than the day before. I think my favorite part about the day before is the fact that they commented. They're like, we had ambitious goals. We tried really hard. But in the end, we found out we couldn't do it. Like, I've never heard somebody ever openly admit to skill issues so thoroughly <laughs> as the day before. It was so good. <laughs> we d we sucked due to, due to skill issues. I may or may not implement and leave the main weapon be single target. I have a quick question for you. What happens when the tool to place tiles doesn't work as intended? Why does it leave empty spaces? You Google the problem. You input it into ChatGPT. You search it up on YouTube. No, you delete our real time map and write a script for procedure generated terrain. Hard code values because you don't know how math works. Delete code until it works. And we got procedural generated terrain. That was a waste of time, but it looks cool. So now you can shoot the skeletons and walk in an infinite world. But after that, what? Well, you can spin your ball and shoot in random directions and admire the laziness that went into creating the game and... Where am I going with this? Oh yeah, we need to make the enemy spawn. For some reason, this had to... Who is the person that makes this? Face dev? Subscribe. This guy makes good videos. Face dev. This is so good. This is so dang good. Be hard. So if you want to spawn enemies at the top of your screen, what do you do? Get the coordinates of the viewport and spawn them outside it? That would make sense, except the camera moves, so that type of spawner would stand in one place. Instead what we have to do is create a path to D, which I don't even know what it's used for. Create a path follow to D, this kinda makes sense. And then a marker, for some reason. Then you modify the progress of that by random values and boom, you got enemy spawning. But wait, 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 I fucking wish it was over. The path to D doesn't move alongside your camera, so what you have to do is create a remote transform to D, which for some fucking reason moves your camera in the middle, then you realign the camera and now enemies spawn outside the screen. Yay, why did this take 7 fucking hours? Alright, so right now the game is pretty much playable, but there is no game loop, so... I mean, that's pretty simple. All we have to do is look at some vampire survival gameplay and... Oh yeah! We forgot the gambling aspect. Implement XP, add juicy max to make the pickup animation look more dopamine inducing. Add the progress bar at the top of the screen. Fight with the layers for hours only to realize you have to move the node to D up. Add the level <laughs> up. gets you every time it gets you every time just the worst this happened to me more than once it happens to everybody that is the inevitable plight of all pro this the, the worst part of this happens more than just in game programming or specifically Godot. my life eventually gets boiled down to that z index so many issues have been solved the amount of times i have like z index 10,000 100,000 1 million 1 million and one <laughs> just like it's just the worst Pop up. Rewrite the player script because you realize it's fucking impossible to manage. Write totally simple code to make the level up screen work. Make the level up bar random because gambling. Add particle effect with Google's particle system. Because gambling. Okay, that's it. So by this point we have about 6 hours left to implement dodging and reloading, fix bugs, finish the game loop, add the menu screen, add death and winning. Yeah, basically I'm a little off topic, but I've typed the word health so many times I'm starting to believe I'm misspelling it. We have to- They call that, what is it, that's vi visual satiation? Auditory satiation where you start saying a word too many times and then you can't type it anymore. I've done this. I've done this so many times in my lifetime. Semantic satiation. It's one of the worst things ever where you can no longer tell that you're spelling something correct. Oh, it's a thing and it, it's a it's it's painful. HTMX is my favorite game engine. HTMX is a great game engine. I'd, I would agree with you. Quickly do a main menu and add a timer for when the game should end and then reload it. I put them in menu together in 30 minutes, don't you dare say a thing about the art. I couldn't find something similar on itch.io, so I had to draw it myself. I oh, that's great art! I and added the start and credits button. 
and then I realized I have no fucking idea how to create a pop-up in Godot. So I deleted the credits. I'll put them in the <laughs> H-tutorial description or something, I don't know. Anyway, Forget I put the, the start button to start the game and add the timer to the game. If you survive past the timer, you win. Nice job! So the time ran out, it's been 48 hours of active development and I finished the reloading just in time. Basically when you run out of ammo, Oh, look at that! Nice ammo, job! You have to wait for the reloading animation to finish. I also nerfed the default fire rate and made it so enemies move 2.5 times faster based on how close you are to winning the game, making the game look just a bit harder. I was doubting if I should also increase the HP that way, but I thought that would be too hard to play against. I'm gonna cheat a little and uh, fix the hitbox even if the timer ended because I broke them when I added the XP animation. Anyway, without any further ado, I present to you Time Fracture. Alright, let's was see it! Of fun. The game will be available on itch.io, link in the description, even though there are some freezes nice. because of the HTML build and I don't know how to fix them. The particles take around 10 seconds to spawn for some reason. Uh, I might also include the Windows build now that I'm thinking about it and I didn't have time to add sound effects, so yeah. Uh, how was the experience you might ask? I've tried Godot before and I didn't like it, but this, this time was great. different. I would even dare to say it's better than Unity, uh, which I ditched Godot for in the past, and it's natively supported on Linux. How cool is that? It's truly really amazing cool. and rather easy to create games if you understand the flow. Uh, if you also want to make a game, I highly recommend you try it just for fun, fiddle around with it, and you'll see why it's so like. You could also go TJ's approach. Which is to say, oh wow, game game creation looks pretty cool. And then write a game engine in OCaml with no experience and find yourself reading up on articles about ECS all night long. Like that's TJ's approach from scratch. I've never done game development. I could probably write an engine. That's what he's doing right now in OCaml. Yeah, OCaml. Classic game programming language. Classic. He's making an actual game engine in actual OCaml. TJ smart. TJ is smart. TJ, much like me, builds a project gets so far into it and then gets distracted and then guess what he's doing that oh tj's doing it right he's even streaming he is streaming let's go like this uh twitch.tv uh tj dv i'm gonna turn down the volume for a second wait for it wait for it wait for it look at that public name engine name main libraries engine ray lib core kernel <laughs> He's literally doing that. He must be AFK. He must be, oh wait, this must be a chair stream. Look, it's a chair stream right now, but he is legitimately doing that. He's legitimately doing that. All right, let's go, let's go back at it. Not sponsored, by the way. Just my thoughts on the engine. Uh, by the way, the two days uh, that I took for making that game weren't really consecutive because, yes, thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next one. So we are playing the game on the Windows build via nice. Wine. Oh, Wine? Yes, let's see how that is. Oh, look at that, it's working. Oh, do you hear those clicky keys? Hey, where, where who in here thinks they can guess what switches he has? Do you think they're blues? I'd say the best decision I ever made in my lifetime was getting some jades. Jades have been by far my favorite. Ooh, he got hurt. Oh, what a rookie. And there we go, we level up. I'm gonna need more fire. Right blues? Now. You think they're blues? Blues? Yeah, see, I have jades. Jades are loud. And I'm already on one heart. How did that happen? Oh, crap, I think he's gonna die. That's blues 100%, are you sure? Yeah. This game is actually really well done. For two days, this is well. I cannot. I, I am like. I like. There's the end of his <laughs> procedural generation, whatever. Whatever. That's whatever. Uh, but this is great. Well done. I don't know what it is, but I always am so impressed when it comes to game development. I don't know why game development to me just seems so impressive, but for me, it just feels so dang impressive. Anyways, great video. Can we just go back for a second? Everybody, go subscribe to FaceDev. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic right here absolutely fantastic many appreciations the name game dev is always just so dang impressive a gin